Everything's rolling. Let's go. Your gaming licenses. Thank you. I'm sorry, could you could you grunt a little louder, please? Zach, I did not just play your loving, devoted wife this morning. I had to flirt with those coots on the gaming commission. I had to smile all pretty and actually act like they were they were desirable. Okay, forgive me, my darling sacrificing wife. I've been a brutish beast and I need to be punished. Now what can I do to make it up to you? I know. How about a big kiss? You want to show your gratitude with a nice, hot kiss? I didn't say hot, but sure. That's what husbands and wives do, right? Mm. You know what I really want? Mm -hmm. I would really love a sexy new slamming sports car that matches with these great shoes. Sports car, that's mm -hmm. what you need, okay. No, I'll tell you what I don't need. I don't need a phony apology from a phony husband. And I really did not want to parade around this morning in front of the gaming commission. You have my sincere gratitude, and when the casino opens tonight, half the take is yours. I don't care about the stupid money. Keep your damn money. What's going on? Nothing. That's the problem. I've got nothing in my life right now. Nothing, nothing that matters. The husband's always the last to know. You know, the fact that this marriage has no emotional weight is the best thing that's going on in my life right now. You and I, we don't mean anything to each other. Thank God. I guess I can count on that. The good news is, it'll get easier. What? Being in a fake marriage? Being alone. Drink up. <clears throat> By the way, it does not get easier being alone. I know, I've had experience. I've had a lot of experience. Whatever you say, expert. Have a bitter day, I have things to do. Hi, you early? Yeah, I was kind of in the mood to take more of your money right now. I'm busy. Mm. I'll take you on. You? Well, if you're up for it, fine. Have fun, kids. Oh, we will. Well, this is a surprise. You willing to gamble with me? Um, I just figured your money would be the same as his, isn't it, Mrs. Slater? Because your life is in the toilet and you are miserable, you want company. Man, do I feel like I've had this conversation before. It's hard to tell which one you lost. What? I saw you sitting over there, Zach. You were watching Ryan and me the whole time. Why couldn't you just at least come over and step in? For what? You know how to play blackjack, right? No, didn't you see Ryan? He lost it. He was throwing furniture and he, he could have hurt me. You could have at least walked over to see if I was okay. I'm a little confused about the rules here. If it's JR, you don't want me saving you, but with this guy, you want me to step All in? All right, forget and, it. Uh... For, forget the whole thing. Forget me, forget Ryan. I okay, have. good, yeah. good. It's not like I said anything that was true, right? Like you being miserable or anything. Go away, please. You know what I think? The way to get to Ryan is to prove him wrong. So maybe you should just get out of your way and have some fun. I don't think I remember how. $5,000 says you will remember. Wait a second. If I win... I get $5,000, but I'll still be miserable? Sometimes it pays to lose. <laughs> You're on, sucker.